Hello chaps, me again, thought I'd do another video as it's been a while. So I'm in this big supermarket in Canada and um, I was here in the weekend, because in the weekend it got extremely cold, it got down to minus 25 C, which in refrigeration terms is fucking cold. And what was happening was uh, the refrigeration was, well like the refrigerator in the pipes just wasn't working, wasn't moving because it was so cold, it was like getting stuck in the condenser because that was like the closest place, things like that. So um, it was quite a long day. But one thing I just want to show you guys, because I think it'll be good, is uh, if you're working with big refrigeration, is the condensers, they're great, but they course, can also be a pain. And we've got fans here, so I'll just show you the fans. So we got one, two, three, four, five, ten fans. Okay, see the fans there. Now then, usually it works in, in pairs. So your front two would be your primary and then your others would kind of just follow as, as it needs it, if and when. Um, but the problem we were having was that on this one, the front two here, these were on all the time. So they were keeping down the um, head pressure. They were keeping the head pressure down to about 60, which is no good. Um, so what I did was, is to stop that, is um, I took the fuses out of these two that's why they're dead. And then it only kicks in when it needs it. So at the moment we've got three fans going, so these obviously work individually. But you can see the front two there are working and then the one behind it. So I'm gonna show you um, me just taking out those two fans there, these two here, what it did to the actual head pressure. So we're gonna go into the compressor room. It's very noisy, I warn you. I'm not gonna turn it off because I'd be an idiot. Um, so I'm just gonna show you on this graph about me turning off those fans what I actually did to the head pressure so just to remind you that it was about 65 when I came here and it's cold okay I'll try and talk as well we'll see so this is the compressor room the plant room these are toilet racks this is the um L low pressure because you've got the, the headphones on the fan and this is your medium temperature and um, that's pretty good actually, I like it. So this is, this is it, okay. So this was, so this was um, on the Saturday when it was minus 25 outside. And as you can see the head pressure was, uh, was uh, 60. And you can see it was pretty bad. And then you can see here, just when I uh, turn those fans off, the head pressure, went from oh, it was 77 and I managed to get it as high as 184 and then it took a while like as you can see it kind of jimmered in and out but eventually you can see now that it's just after it kind of sorted itself out that here it just went along nicely and that's what I've been doing ever since a few little blips but overall it's been keeping that head pressure nice and high. Obviously the ambient temperature's changed, but it still, it still kept it going. So um, yeah, just a little one there. If it's very cold outside, you, and you, you can take out primary fans and do it. But it was set at 95, you can see here. Set for 95, and it's at 195 there, perfect. So, uh, yeah, just a little easy one there. If you find that your head pressure is really low, check the fans, make sure that they're not running. Okay, over and out.